so right now we're starting the obedience stuff. We're going to be doing place with this little bed here. It belongs to one of our uh, dogs. He's a Maltese. Pete has never been on the bed except for right before we started recording. He was sniffing around on it. So I wanted to use something different just so you can see how to work through different issues we may have. You may be iffy about getting on it. It is squishy and from what I've noticed with him he's a little iffy about getting on things such as beds that are very squishy. Yes. Good. So he already knows the marker word. Yes. So right now we're giving him little tiny pieces of steak. You can see that. Not saying anything to him. Yes. Letting him just get his front paws on for now. So he can get more comfortable with the bed. Yes. And now I'm going to start making him put all of his paws on here. And again, not saying anything to him. Just letting him try to figure it out. Yes. So he put that paw on, marked and rewarded. <clears throat> and with you of using clickers in the past, you'll see how the marker word is a little bit more beneficial and easier. Oh, almost. Yes, good. Yes. Now, he did what I wanted to do. So I'm going to do a jackpot reward. Good. I'm going to do this a few more times and then I'm going to start adding the verbal cue. Yes. Yes, good. So the whole point, place, yes, and not saying anything to them initially, because I know that it's kind of foreign to you, is to make him think on his, his own. And then the second thing is, since dogs pay attention more to your body language, it's easier for the dog to comprehend one thing at a time. Place. Yes. So now I'm going to start getting further away and just pointing. Place. Yes, good, there you go. <clears throat> Place. Yes, good boy. Place. Yes. see through this whole process he's actually having to think <clears throat> and that's how you get the best results you don't get the best results by putting the dog on a leash pulling him over to it forcing him to do it physically or guiding him through every single step yes 
So he went over and got on it on his own. So I just rewarded that. Good place. And if at any point in time it seems like it's too hard for him, yes. Like if I get too far away, then maybe I'll get closer. But for the most part, I want him to get his uh, brain going more. Place. Yes. Now I'm going to make it a little bit harder for him. How much time do I have? Six minutes. Six minutes left? You serious? How many minutes have I done so far? Six minutes. So I get 12 minutes. Total. Eight minutes more. Okay. There you go. Place. make it a little harder for him because I want him to be on the place. Yes, okay, that was good. I was going to say I want him to be on place and him do exactly what he did. Thought that might take a little bit longer, but he got it. Good place. Yes, that's very good, buddy. And the good thing about place, which after we get done doing place, Maya's going to go put him up in his crate. I'm going to get this video edited a little bit. That way he has about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes downtime. Place. Place. I'm just waiting for him to get his other foot up. Yes, there you go, good. Anyway, you get some downtime, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to use place more as a tool. Good place? Yes, so I can send him to place from over here, about where the camera's at now. Good place? Yes, and then we're gonna start working on uh, heel positioning. So I'll do one just to demonstrate now. Place. Yep. Yes. Good. The place. thing is is when you're working with him whether it's doing place or anything make sure the treats don't drop on the ground if they do pick them up don't allow him to go get them because what will happen is through your training session he'll start looking on the ground for drop treats rather than paying attention to you good place Yes. Good. Good. All right. So that's going to be it for right now. Maya's going to go ahead and put them up. And then I'll get this video out before I bring them out and do some more stuff with them. All right. One cut.